In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new estimate and also see where do they go when you create an estimate? How can you find more information about them? And how can you turn that estimate into an invoice? All right, so let's get started by going to the left menu and we're gonna go to sales. We're gonna start there just to see where our estimates live normally. Now your account, it might say the word invoicing. So look on your menu for either sales or invoicing, then go to all sales. All right, so we're in all sales. And if you look at the money bar, the first one is the total of open estimates. So your total of open estimates, and you can filter if you just wanna see all of your estimates. So if I were to just click the blue, then it would say no, nothing because I don't have any open estimates right now but I could filter for just all of my estimates as of the last year. And this is how many I have. So I've got these four, but they are not open. They've already been dealt with. So here's our list and it's of the last 365 days. So you could filter it for all dates. And in our case, it's still just these four, but if you filtered it, then you'll probably have more that show up. Now let's say you want to just get right to a list of estimates. You work with them a lot in your business, so you don't have to filter each time. Let's go up to the top and we've got a tab just for estimates. So we're going to click this top estimates tab. And here we've got a list only of estimates, which is great for us. And the status, we want to see all estimates regardless of what status they're in. And right now it's showing us last 12 months. So we do have to filter if we want to change that. But this one is a lot faster to filter. And we can change it to year to date, this year, last quarter, this quarter. So in our case, we're going to say year to date. Only want to see this year. And it's just still these four in our case. All right. So now let's see what we have here. We have our date, the estimate number, the customer the amount, the status, and we're gonna see what it looks like when you've just created um, an estimate. We'll see how that changes. But these all say converted. What does that mean? That just means that your estimate was turned into an invoice. Um, if you're thinking, well, it seems like it should say the status is it's been accepted. It does say that when you, when you change it, you can change it to say accepted, but once you actually create an invoice from the estimate, then it will say converted. So let's look at an example here. This first one from August 14th. Um, you can click, or, or to open it, we're gonna click the pencil. All right, and here is our estimate. So we'll look at an example first before we create a new one. Here we have the customer and their information. This is all optional. If you actually want to send the estimate and you want QuickBooks to email it for you, then you need to have an email here. But if you don't need to do that or you just don't have it right now, this you can save it if this is email and address is blank. Okay, you can put an estimate date, you can put an expiration date, but you could leave that blank if that doesn't apply to you. And pretty much, all over QuickBooks, there'll be a way to add a tag or multiple tags if you use that. And there'll be a separate video if you want to learn more about that. All right. And then here we have our estimate. Let's look at the top right corner. And I always like to double check that to make sure, is that the total I wanted to say? Is that correct? So this is our total estimate. And let's come on down to our our line item. So we are sending this family store an estimate to do a rock fountain, mount, fountain pump, and concrete for fountain installation. So we have the product or service selected, a description, the quantity, the rates, and the amount. And these are all checked because we're saying we're going to charge sales tax. So with sales, so it's really $335 but with sales tax, it is going to be 362 because they have added on 
the sales tax. So subtotal 335, we have checked off, it's gonna have sales tax applied. So they QuickBooks calculated that for us based off of the percentage. And this is what we are uh, giving an estimate to this company, to this customer. This is what we are saying is going to be the total. You have just like your estimate or uh, just like your invoices, you have this theme boxes over here on the bottom left. You can attach something. You want to attach a file, um, a picture, a PDF, an agreement that you want signed. You could attach that here. You could upload it here. Um, and then here you could put any more information, um, any more details, what you want them to, you could put information of what you want them to do next, what would be the next step to move forward with this project. All right, so let's close out of this. So that's an example of an estimate. Um, let's see, when we just click on the row itself, maybe we don't wanna make any changes. You just click on the row and then this will pop up on the side and here's your just key information. We have our total transaction date, the date that it was converted from an estimate to an invoice. Customer, it was create the estimate was created on August 14th and it was created and here's the link to take us to the, uh, the invoice. All right, and so we could click, oops, we could click any of that information or we can say, you know what, I wanna change this. We could click edit or we have more actions. You could print the estimate, make a duplicate of it, send it, um, that QuickBooks will email it for you. And you can update the status or you can delete it. Now I just clicked update status. So let's say something has changed with this product. You could change the status right there that it's pending, accepted, closed, or declined by so-and-so on this date. All right, so we'll close out of that. Okay, so here our next step is we wanna actually create an estimate. So we could do that over here on the right in our green create estimate button, or we could do the plus new on the top left, plus new button, and in the first column under customers, there it is again, estimate. So either way, we'll get you to the same place. If you don't do estimates a lot, it's probably good to get in the habit of staying with the plus new button because you can just be in the habit of any time you're creating something new, it's probably gonna be an option here. So you could stay with that, but if you are someone with a lot of estimates, and this is a regular thing with your business, then you could get in the habit of you just always come here and create an estimate. So we'll do that for today. Create estimate. And now we have a blank version and let's fill it in. Let's say that this estimate is for Amy's bird sanctuary and she's already in our customer contact list or just our customer list. So it pre-filled her information and we can say, we could change the status right here and there's these options again, but let's say right now it's just pending. So it's just pending, we're just creating this, we're gonna send it and wait for a, re a reply. Let's say that the estimate date is now November 2nd and we're gonna, in our case, we're just going to leave off that there's an expiration date, but you could fill that in if you want. And let's put in design, so just design services. And then you can add um, a lot more information as, as detailed as you'd like. So let's say design services for new, let's say new room. Okay, so we'll just be very general here, but you can put a lot more detail. All right, and let's say that you charge just a rate, uh, not a rate, you just charge a, a full amount and it's not about a rate or a quantity, then you could skip that. You could just put the amount. So let's say it's 2000, so then it'll change it. But in your case, let's say you do have a rate. Let's say you're a hundred an hour and you're going to, um, the quantity is going to be 20 and that's what you're estimating. It's going to be 100 at 20 hours, then, um, and then it'll calculate the total for you. 
But if you don't want them to see that, you don't want to show them this information, you could just leave this off and just put in the amount that you are estimating it will be. All right, so now let's come down here. It's services, so we're going to skip the sales tax. The total is still 2000 We'll check up in the top right. It's still 2000 That's what we want. In our case, we're going to leave all this blank, but you can put as much info as you need. All right, and let's come to the bottom corner. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's come to the bottom corner, and we're not going to save and send. We're just going to save and close, but you can if you need to. All right, so now let's see what happens on our list. Now it shows up on our estimates list. We see the dates, we see the customer, we see the amount, and the status is pending, perfect. You could come over here to the right on the arrow and see those options again. And then let's say maybe it's a few days later, Amy loves the idea, she's great with the price. So we're gonna update the status and we're gonna say it's been accepted and it's been accepted by Amy, Amy S. on this date. You could leave this blank if you want, but of course, the more information, the better. Okay, so now notice the status, it's now been checked off, but it's just been accepted. Notice on the far right, it says convert to invoice. QuickBooks assumes the next step would be, you'll now be invoicing her, is um, that will be the next step for her in, in what you're doing in QuickBooks. So let's say it's a few days later or a week later and you've done your design for services, you are ready to invoice Amy for this $2,000. So we can click on this row, convert to invoice. Let's say, and I'll show you another place too. Let's go to the all sales tab. Let's say you've really gotten in the habit of using all sales. And we'll just see the full list. Well, here she is as well. So November 2nd, estimate is the type. So we can see invoice payment, but here's an estimate for Amy. And here's that amount, status accepted. And here it says create invoice. So you could do it, click it here, or you can click it on the estimates tab. So either way that will work. And let's go ahead and click that, convert to invoice. And then here we go. Now what just popped up on the right, that's for some other example. So we're gonna close that. We don't need that right now. Okay, so notice in the top left corner, it says invoice. And just underneath very small, but it does say one linked estimate. If you click on that blue link, it will show you this invoice well, the invoice we just created here, we haven't filled it all, we haven't um, finalized it yet, but when we clicked convert to invoice, it created this invoice and it linked it to the estimate. And if you needed to get back to the estimate, you could either close out and go back to your list, or you can get right to it by just clicking that blue estimate. Okay, so now let's look over our invoice. This is great too, because here it is pretty much all filled out for us. So we've got all this information filled out here. Customer Amy, let's change the invoice date. Maybe it was the next week we were ready to invoice her. And let's say, yes, it's day 2000. The amount did not change. And this little link icon here, that is just saying that represents that this row is linked. It came from the estimate. It's, it's um. QuickBooks understands that this row, you didn't just up and decide to create this row. This came directly from what was on the estimate. Okay, so let's say that we don't need to really change anything. Here it is, the estimate was 2000 and we wanna invoice her for 2000. So this all looks great. You can put more um, information if you wanna add more of a description now that it's been done and you're invoicing her, you might wanna put more details here. You absolutely can. You could send her a picture of the work that you did. Okay, and then in the bottom right, we have our save and send if you want QuickBooks to email this invoice for us. Or we can just do the arrow and say, you know, we're going to print it out and give it to her in person, or we're just not ready to send it yet. So you could say save and close.
Okay, so there you go. So we've got that estimate and the status is now converted because we created an invoice to do with this estimate. Let's open up our estimate with our pencil icon and let's see our estimate, what it looks like now. It looks the exact same, but in the top left, the status is now closed. It's no longer an active or open estimate. You moved on to the process of invoicing her. And we look over on the right side and we have one linked invoice. And if we click on this, I'm not sure why it's so small, but if you click on one linked invoice, there you have the link to the invoice. You could click to get right to it. And we'll do that. We'll click that blue invoice link. And here we go. We are in the top left. We're in the invoice and we are in the one linked estimate. There it is again. So we know that this estimate and invoice are linked together. All right, so now let's close out of here. And the last thing that I will show you about this um, is if you needed to see reports to do with your estimates, we're gonna do other videos on reports and go into more detail, but I will briefly show you that you can actually get reports on estimates, especially if they're a big part of your business. So let's go to the left menu, left menu to reports, and we're gonna scroll down and you see this who owes you. This is gonna be reports to do with really accounts receivable open invoices, customer balance invoice list, invoices and receive payments, things like that. But if you go down to the next section, sales and customers, still very related, but you'll see estimates. So here, let's click now that we've created an estimate, let's see estimates by customer. All right, and here this um, report, notice the center. It says estimates by customer, there's our, our report name, but it's showing just for the month of November. As of right now, there's only two days of that. So let's filter the date in the top left so we can see all of our estimates by customer. So I come up here to the top left, you might need to scroll up to see this area, but come over here, and change it to all dates. We wanna see all dates and then click the run report button. So all dates run reports. And here we go. Estimates by customer. Every estimate we have put into QuickBooks, it's all dates. And here we have Amy's Bird Sanctuary and all of these customers, their dates. And over on the right side, you'll notice the invoice number that that estimate is linked to. So that can be very handy. And then finally, the amount of, of that estimate. All right, in the um, third column, you'll see that the estimate status, um, what's going on there. So in our case, they're all closed. But in your case, you might see all of this different, some are accepted, some are closed, some are pending. So yeah, if you need a, a report, this could be a very helpful report for you. All right, and let's go back to our report list, go back to the sales and customer section. And you will notice here is another report, estimates and progress invoicing summary by customer. If you need to do progress invoicing, that will be a helpful, report and if you want help to learn how to do progress invoicing in QuickBooks, then there is a separate video for that. <laughs> so um, I did another video to go into more detail about progress invoicing. If you're not sure what that is, that just means when we created the estimate and I'll show you real quick what, what that means. But back on our estimate list, let's say that you we created this estimate for 2000 but we want to create two invoices. We're not going to invoice her for the full 2000. We're going to invoice her one month for a thousand and the next month for the, the remaining 1000. So if you need to create multiple invoices, that's all linked to a full amount, then that would be progress invoicing. Some people call it progress billing, but it's the same idea. So 
If you need to learn if that's something that you need, then there is another video I have for that. All right, so that is the process of how to create an estimate. You can either come to the plus new or you can come to sales and the estimates tab, create a new estimate. So that's how to create an estimate. You can see it on the list here, it's status here. You can go to all sales to see it there as well. And then we also covered how to create an invoice by clicking the link on the side to create it, create an invoice link. So it's linked to this estimate. The only final step will just be to record that invoice as paid. And I do have a separate in, a video on how to just create a, a regular invoice by itself and record that invoice as paid. So if you're not sure about that, I do have more information for that. But in our case, we just focus on es estimates. All right, so I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, bye.